going to show you how to put a decal on. I'm um, going to do something pretty simple. I did these, I'm working on these bottles that I got from the Dollar Tree. They're beautiful bottles. You must have seen them. If you're a Dollar Tree person, you've had to have seen these bottles. They come in all different colors and clear to blue, golds, this nice ambery orange color. I have one over here that I've completed already. Just need to do a little trimming on it. That one I'm going to leave her just the way it is. I really kind of like it. I think it's sweet just how it is. This one I'm going to put dragonflies on and I'm going to put a light on it. How do you like my little stand my husband made for me? Isn't that awesome? It holds it for me so that I don't have to have two sets of hands when I put my decals on. I had seen that somebody else had something similar like that. And so I just explained it to him and that's what he came up with. And it's perfect. Absolutely perfect. I can put a mug in there. I can put a bottle in there. Everything fits. Even the tumblers that I worked on. Okay, you have to have some rubbing alcohol whenever you work on things like this because we have oils and stuff in our fingers. And this will help clean that surface, get it nice and squeaky clean so we don't have to worry about the decal actually not sticking properly because these decals are meant to stay permanently. They can be removed and they won't leave a residue, but they're not going to come off on their own. You need to take them off. But in order for it to stay there, we've got to make sure the surface is nice and clean. Okay, I have a bunch of decals that since I've been sick, and I am feeling a lot better if anybody's curious or was asking, but I'm not 100% yet. But I did sit down and work on decals while I was at my worst to try to get my thoughts someplace else and stay more positive. I found these beautiful little dragonflies that I loved an awful lot, so I put them together. And I think they're going to look gorgeous on this bottle. And I've already prepped these with a um, contact paper over the top of them. So all I've got to do, all I have to do, whoops get in there and peel it back like that. Take the white paper off and it'll leave it on this part. Then you just decide where you want to apply it. Try not to touch where the decal is itself. I want to have them so they're flying around. So put one there. I'm not worried about that yet because I'm going to um, put a couple more on and then, and then I'll go over it with my tool and press them into place. It's the action of the warmth in the tool that actually makes them adhere properly. Well, I'll tell you, learning how to weed's been a tough thing. Sometimes it's really easy, but like on these little guys here, I don't know if you can, how well you can see it, but there's, this is actually two layers. It's the wings, this is all one unit, and then each little piece that goes on top of the wings, but each little piece has these little holes in it that I've got to weed that little bit of vinyl out. Woo! Let me tell you, that was a blast. <laughs> I'm going to put them kind of around the bottle. I have four or five of them, and that way I don't have to have them just in one area. So I'm going to continue to wipe this down. Fan it off a little bit, just get it to dry faster. I hope everybody's having a great time. We got some more snow last night and this morning. Oh my goodness. It felt like um, spring was coming in. We had winds that were so strong and powerful the other day. I thought March was here. The old saying, in like a lion, out like a lamb. I'm hoping that's how it's going down. Because January sure came in like a lion.
The thing about these bottles is you can do so much with them. You know, you can embellish them with anything. And if you don't have a cutter, here's the thing. A lot of people have said to me, well, I don't have one of those machines that's so expensive. Yep, they sure are. And it, it is hard, but you can buy decals off of people that do have cutters, and that isn't too expensive. And you can also, you know, honestly, go buy some stickers. You can put stickers on these and make them just as adorable and make them friendly for your decorations at home or to make a nice gift for somebody. It's your art. Do it as you choose. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, I think that'll do. Still have one left, but I can put it on something else. I'll put that back in my little magic box of decals I've already started on. Those can go in the trash. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll get my little magic tool out here. And then I just do this. Somebody told me, you know, I'm new to this, so I really don't know. I have to take faith in what people say. But somebody told me the friction of doing this is what activates that glue that's underneath this and sets it, makes it so permanent. So it's really important, even though you the sticker goes on there, that you actually rub it into place. One, you're getting all the air pockets out so you don't have a chance of it lifting up and coming off. And two, if it activates that glue, well, it's going to make it that much more stronger. Now, I don't know that it would be that way on regular stickers, but you know what? It's still going to get all the air pockets out, right? So then we're just going to take and very carefully Lift that right off. Beautiful. If I set that back on there, I can actually use that again. Waste not, want not. Oh, that is beautiful. I love it when it works out the way I want. This one's a pretty simple one. I'm not really going to put much on it. It's all about the dragonflies. And I'm going to... I bought these lights from the Dollar Tree. I'll show you. I need to adjust them a little bit. And I don't know if I really like them. I, I may end up having to go and invest in a better set because... They seem to jiggle in and out. And this is the third package that I've used. And I think it's just the quality. Oh, that is sweet. That is absolutely sweet. Oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? see if we can see it. So I have these lights that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Sometimes they do that. It's like they have a short in them. Sometimes it comes on nice and strong. I think I'm just going to have to get a better. It's just not lighting up the way I want it to. <laughs> I want to stand there and jiggle it around a lot, it does. Well, that's so frustrating when you have 
a plan and it doesn't work out. Even when you pay a dollar, I mean, at least let it work for an hour. Come on now. All right, so anyhow, that's the way it's going to be. But what I'm going to do is take a little bit of felt and cover the cork style of it because I don't like the white for one thing. It kind of takes away from the um, natural look of the bottle and, and stuff, the earthy tones that I like. And two, it'll firm that up so that it doesn't, it's not so wobbly. I wish it would light up. Can you see it? Can you see it? Now just think of that in the dark. Isn't that going to be awesome? If it stays lit. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright guys, so I'm just starting to feel good. I just wanted to come on and try to get a video before 10 o'clock tonight done. And show you something that you can make that's a nice little gift to give to somebody. You know, these types of gifts are good for everything. You can give them for birthdays, weddings. Just think of that as a home, a housewarming gift. Or some young person that's going off to college, you know. A little kind of afraid of being away from home. Throw a little something in that bottle that is a part of you. And dress it up and... Every time they turn it on, they've got you right there with them. That's how I think. All right. Well, if you like this video, thumbs up, please. If you're a subscriber, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click on that button. Um, don't forget to ring that bell. By ringing the bell, it'll give you notifications when I have a new video coming out. And right now, I'm trying to get myself healed and I have a steady flow of videos coming. I can't promise you exactly what they're going to be because I really don't have an agenda. I'm a, a, a woman of multi-trades. I Whatever happens to be my whim that day or whatever I'm working on is what I'm going to put in there. I do everything from um, crafts to canning to foraging for my medicinals to food. I garden. I have um, animals that I raise. It's just anything and everything. So it's my life. That's kind of what it says. Tammy's homestead life is just my life. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. See you tomorrow.